Hey, Gemini. This is going to be <clears throat> you versus them. What's going on with you and what's going on with them, okay? And them being the person that you are thinking about. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Here we go, guys. What's going on with Gemini and the person that they're thinking about? Gemini. Gemini, it seems as though, um, even though the full card's not here, I feel like you really wanted to step out and do something new in the recent past. You wanted to start over. You want to start something new. And I just feel like you didn't want to be tied down. Okay? Not really, you know, wanting to have to engage with anybody. You just wanted to kind of be free, is what I see. Just kind of wanted to be free. Now, the person that you're thinking about, they have just re recently gone through something very um, hard to deal with here. Um, I feel like they are not off balance at this point. But I feel like something in the past, whether it was something that went on with you or with somebody else or something that um, was very destructive, they feel like, in their life, that brought them to their knees here. And um, there was a need for them to, to rest, to regroup here with the Four of Swords. I feel like this person... It's very heartbroken. You see the Three of Swords up here. It was very heartbroken. They are coming out of that. And they're slowly trying to get back on the horse. They're not, not making any fast moves or anything here. Um, but they are, you know, getting ready to, to go off on another adventure. Um, they're choosing to do something else. They're at a crossroads right now because I feel like they're still healing here. Um, I feel like you probably are dealing with an Aries or, or Taurus, maybe Libra. Um, there's also Scorpio energy here. <clears throat> but I also get the impression that um, at this point that there is a possible startup between the two of you or either you're thinking about it I feel like you're thinking about it I feel like you know this could be somebody else or something else but I feel like this has everything to do with with you both of you are coming showing up here as knights and um, and it could be a same-sex relationship, um, but not necessarily. You know, you may you may be a man dealing with a woman that's exhibiting more of you know her masculine energy at this point, um, where she was very you know fiery and and ready to act. Um, she's not so fiery anymore. She's more slow moving. If this is a woman, um, I feel like she probably reacted a whole lot of the times, you know, before. But now, I think she's studying her moves, okay? But, you know, this could go for a male as well. I feel like, you know, you're kind of iffy about whether or not you want to come in and offer this person something. I, I feel like you've been checking them out, trying to see... 
you know, how they are maneuvering. Um, if it's okay for you to come in and offer something, but I don't see you making any moves currently, um, right now. Now, for some of you, for some of you, you are pregnant or just got somebody pregnant, found out that you're going to be a father and um, you're not, it's like you're running scared for some of you, but you're not telling, you're not telling um, the father or you're not telling the mother that, you know, you're scared of this, this, this new thing that has just, you know, come upon you having a baby. And I feel like, you know, for the other party, that this is a huge shock. This is a huge shock because somebody was not ready. Somebody was not ready. They know they have to be ready. They're not coming as a king of pentacles, but um, this is just them before. They know they can't go anywhere. And the path has been chosen for them. For those of you who have either, you have a baby on the way, whether male or female, you know, I see that here, that, you know, somebody is, is kind of scared. Okay? So that is what I have for you, Geminis, for um, you versus them, the 9th through the 16th, and I'll be speaking with you soon.